Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make your recording sound better in just one click. This is amazing and probably the most amazing audio technological advancement to come around in a lifetime. I do not say that lightly. It's using AI and machine learning and you can test it for free at mrc.fm forward slash AI. That's mrc.fm forward slash AI. The folks at Descript have come up with this amazing feature called Studio Sound and you probably want to see it in action. So here it is. Now it's currently in beta as I'm testing it, but of course I'll update the notes to this video and the comments with the the latest developments on this. Now, what I would do is tick this box when I want to switch it on. So for the moment, let's listen without it to this piece of audio. This is filmed on my Google Pixel phone. As you can hear, it hasn't got the best internal microphone. Lots of echo and reflections, studio sound, ticked, playback. One click of a button though, wow. and I've applied studio sound and well, you have to admit, it sounds pretty amazing. Much, much better. Just to prove there's no trickery, untick it and play back that section. One click of a button though, and I've applied studio sound and well, you have to admit, it sounds pretty amazing. So there you go. That is absolutely insane. Now, obviously, it doesn't happen that quickly because it has to go up to the cloud and be processed. So just to give you a quick example, if I were to go into this project and say import this right here and drop it in, and go to my test file that is also being transcribed right now as we speak. Let's go and head into that test file. I then tick Studio Sound and just like transcribing, it's going to take a few moments for that circle to go round and for Studio Sound to apply to that clip of audio. It doesn't take that long and of course it's a fantastic effect once it is applied. So definitely worth the wait. Well, let's test it with a few other things because many people will be using this on podcasts. So How's it going to work on a podcast? Well, here's something that was uh, recorded out on the street. Unique in some ways, but really it's cookie cutter. Okay, so we got some background noise, uh, you know, hum and buzz of the city. Switch on studio sound, play it back. Unique in some ways, but really it's cookie cutter. And it sounds like it's recorded in a pro studio. Absolutely insane. Let's go to this second clip and let's give this a play. And and, you know, Jolene is also a professional speaker for over 30 years. Yes. OK, first of all, it sounds a bit over compressed. And secondly, I can hear background chatter there on the conference floor of the place where it's recorded. Applying studio sound. You know, Jolene is also wow. a professional speaker oh for over 30 years. Yes. An author. That is absolutely amazing. Um what about having noises in the background, like sirens? It doesn't really matter, right? It can be a block of wood, it can be a milk crate, that's a ton of fun. Okay, so there's a little police siren going on in the background. Click studio sound, play back. That doesn't really matter, right? It can be a block of wood, it can be a milk crate, that's a ton of fun. And that is absolutely an amazing improvement. Now, many noise reduction tools are reductive. They take away things from the sound to improve what you've got and kind of leave you with a voice that's a little bit washed out, a little bit processed. Studio Sound's idea is that not only does it take away the background noise, but it also adds in frequencies. And we're going to discover just how it does that in just a moment when we get onto something that's common with podcasts recording over Zoom or other services that degrade audio quality. Let's take a look at this example here out on the streets again with some bells going off in the background. So it's, a, it's a small square compared to others in Copenhagen. Sure. There are cafes uh, with lots of outdoor seating. There are bike racks. And seemingly bells as well, but tick studio sound and play this back. Let's have a listen. So it's a it's a small square compared to others in Copenhagen. Sure. There are cafes wow. uh, with lots of outdoor seating. There are bike racks. Absolutely amazing. The bells pretty much eliminated and the voice sounds studio quality. It's the same with a Zoom call or something over Skype or Google or any other service you use to connect. Usually the audio is degraded. It cuts off around 8,000 hertz in terms of frequency. First it all just started out that I just love watches, uh, which is always a good place to start for your, your new watch company. Okay, so that's coming over a Zoom call. It's, it's okay, it's listenable, but it could be better with studio sound. Let's take this. And let's play back from the beginning. First, it all just started out that I just love watches, uh, which is always a good place to start for your, your new watch company. Not only has it reduced the plosives, but it actually added in frequencies above 8000 hertz, which blows my mind. I've always said in past videos, you can take away noise and pull out frequencies, but you can't put back what isn't there. Well, now using AI and machine learning, you can. 
Thank you, Descript. It's worth to note that studio sound is entirely free to use on any audio file. Go to mrc.fm forward slash AI, click the download link and get the software and try this out for free. But before I go, I couldn't help but try a couple of other things in studio sound that I know you're going to want to try too. So let's take a look back at my projects here. And I've actually got this fantastic one called Studio Sound History. First of all, I found my mum and dad's wedding tape. And well, first of all, I had to clean it up a little bit myself. So I did that and bought it into Descript. You make tremendous preparations for a journey. It's not bad. Not just for the beginning of it. Uh, there was a lot of harm and fuzz going on there, but I pulled all that out and cleaned it and made it as good as I possibly could in the hope that I'd be able to restore this priest to his former glory. But not only that, get him into a radio studio to, to give his speech. This would just be amazing if it works. Studio sound on. Let's play him back. You make tremendous preparations for a journey. Wow. Not just for the beginning of it. So dig out all those old wedding tapes, birthday videos, and more. Bring them into Descript and tick Studio Sound. This is blowing my mind. One last thing before I go. Winston Churchill, famous speech, 1941. Let's play him back from the start. So uh, this is it from the start. Surely in this period of 10 months, this is the lesson. Never give in. Never give in. Never, never, never. Oh, it was the best microphone and best recording equipment available to uh, Sir Winston Churchill at the time. Tick Studio Sound. Let's have a listen to that famous speech again one more time. Never give it. Never give it. Never, never, never. And we haven't given it and we're not going to give in because this technology is amazing and I'm so pleased to have the chance to play with it. So like I say, at the time I'm recording this video, it is currently in beta. There might be a few quirks, a little bit of fuzziness, a few glitches here and there, but please forgive the team at Descript because I know they're trying their best and believe me, I've put this feature through its paces. Do let me know how you get on with this. If you find some great stuff that you've restored, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. Let me know exactly what you're using it on. Is it going to be on your old wedding tape, your old birthday tape, that old celebration, that holiday video from decades ago. You're going to put it in an old speech or are you simply going to make your podcast or online video sound better? Let me know in the comments down below and enjoy Studio Sound from Descript. Thumbs up, subscribe for more, musicradiocreative.com.